we have the actual Toyota GR Supra GT4 race car here at Jay Leno's garage. We got my buddy Chris here. We're actually gonna wash it today because it just came from Sebring. It's race car dirty. There's some marbles and stuff. So we're gonna get rid of those. And you can see, look at the, it just came off the racetrack essentially, right? The tires um, still really used, worn in. But I'm really excited because we're gonna wash it today. Tomorrow we're gonna put it under the light box and then I handpicked five of my close friends to join us for a shoot. We're gonna shoot this, we're gonna shoot the rest of the garage, and we're really gonna just focus on shooting cars under the light box, but as well as cars just left in place. I think it'll be kind of a fun shooting session. I wouldn't really call it a clinic or a class. It's more of like a, a shooting along with Larry session, and I'm really excited about that. This will be our second time doing something like this at the garage. Uh, let's get to it. Ignition. Start. This thing is so cool. Oh. Whoa! Dude, hold on. Dude, the steering, steering is so light. It's so quick, too. Wait, oh, this is the flash button? There's a flash? Hey everyone, Larry Chen here. We are at Jay Leno's garage for my second photo clinic, not really clinic, photo walk around this time with five really awesome shooters. I personally invited them because I wanted to see what they would come up with. They all have different styles and they are all different skill levels. It's so cool to kind of get a different mix of people here to create content. And you know, the thing is, we are able to shoot here so often, and anytime I come here, we come up with different shots. So I feel like it'll be really refreshing to see a different eye or a different take on the same subjects. With that said, definitely have to thank Toyota for making this happen. You know, they brought out the GT4 race car, the actual Supra that raced at Sebring. They shipped it here. We're gonna put it under the light box. We're gonna photograph it, but we're also gonna photograph Jay's personal cars, so stay tuned. The dream right here. Oh, yeah. One crazy Cuda. My uh, cousin had one of these. It, they yeah, they yeah. restored it. It was like cola brown. Very cool car. So oh, cool. Yeah. I feel like I'm a 
red and in a red maze. Is that every generation of cars? Well, the thing is, right now I blacked out. We blacked out the lights back there. It's such a crazy scene when you go to the end of the garage, all the way to all the end, way. to the other side. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. like to to the shop. You can see all the way through this, That's and crazy. on the other side of that is the airport. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to hop the fence and board a flight, you can do that. Very basic setup for me, but it works. Clean your lenses. It's going down now. Clean them. R3? Oh my god, what's going on here? <laughs> Wait a minute, it's a Sony with a Canon lens? Yeah, oh, you know what I mean, this is, this, is, this, is this, is my, this is my Asian side and this is my American side, so it's like just... That doesn't make any sense, they're both Asian. <laughs> <laughs> this is Asian, made in America, I think. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming. This is an absolute dream shoot. This is something that I guess... I kind of wanted to share with you guys. So uh, first of all, this is all happening because of Paul from Toyota. So yes. thank you, for Paul from Toyota. And then also uh, the Leno's Garage car care product line, which uh, Chris is uh, in charge of. And so it's these basically two companies that kind of wanted to make this happen just so it exists. One of the cars that we're going to be able to shoot is the actual Toyota Supra GT4 race car that just came from Sebring straight to here for us to photograph. So we're gonna put that under the light box first. We're also gonna get uh, a couple of Jay's cars under the light box. We briefed everybody on what's going on and now we're gonna do like an overall tour just to kind of get everyone well versed on where everything is and you know what we're able to photograph. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. So we're actually shooting the Supra GT4 under the light box right now. One of the tips I wanted to give you guys, I wanted to give you guys five tips to shooting cars. Do not let your height dictate what the angle should be. Go up, go down, lay on the floor like Nolan is right here. See this? It's very clean. Yeah, it's very clean. You can eat off the floor. Um, but look, he's getting a low angle. The car itself is very low. So it's cool to kind of show that off by getting low yourself. And then you can kind of see the different shapes, different uh, silhouette of the car if you just do a different angle than just your eye level.
pro tip number two, it's not all about the exterior. While the outside of the car is amazing and there's a lot of cool details and shapes to capture, honestly, for me, the best part of this particular car is the interior. There's so many things that's different than the street car. So when you're photographing special cars, always take a look at the interior and see if you can get in and out of it. Of course, ask for permission if it's not your car, but a passenger seat, uh, a driver's side dash, the instrument clusters, there's just so many little things to capture and uh, there's so many details to kind of tell that whole story about the car. Definitely do that. While it's great to get the whole car in your picture to tell that whole story about what the car is, there's so many little details about cars, specifically like this one. There's so many carbon fiber bits that have such an interesting texture that actually changes when different light hits it. So focus on getting different shots of the badges, the wheels, the brakes, even just like this little LED light here. I love just telling the story of the whole car from the details. There's too many on here just to pick a few, but uh, if it were up to me, I would definitely focus on the carbon fiber bits, tail lights, headlights, the wing is really cool, everything. It all adds up to make this awesome race car. In terms of the eyes of the car and the look of the car, it really comes to life when you turn on the headlights and taillights. I always tell people when I'm doing rolling shots or when I'm getting shots of the cars, I tell the owners to leave the headlights and taillights on because it just kind of gives it that pop. Otherwise, it would just be a blank light area. But when you turn on the lights, it just shows so much it really is the eyes of the car you're looking into the eyes of the car and it's uh it just makes for a better picture the last tip is something that i tell everybody to do when they first start a car feature you want to essentially do a walk like a 360 walk around the car to see all the angles of it so you have to check off a basic list of shots you have to get the front head-on shot rear shot, side shot, front three quarter, rear three quarter, seven eighths. So if you just do a 360 walk around a car, you'll be able to get every single one of those angles. Do it close to the car with a wide angle and then do it further away with a long lens. We're shooting rollers.
right, that's it. We had an awesome day of shooting. We are so blasted. I'm so tired. Um, but as always, it's so fun to shoot here. And I think everyone had some really amazing shots. And we'll play the photos and content that they got over this video so you guys can enjoy what we were able to get over the day. Thank you so much again to Jay Leno's Garage for letting us use your space. And of course, thank you so much to Toyota USA for sending over the Supra GT4 for us to shoot. And also for coming up with this idea, honestly, to bring a car for us to shoot specifically. That's never happened before. I haven't done that with one of my classes. And I feel like this is something that we can do moving forward. It is just too much fun to shoot race cars.